Welcome to Breakfast at Clemson. It's a Saturday morning showdown for what's been a fascinating series so far as the Boston College Eagles take on the Clemson Tigers. Hi, everybody. Fred Cunningham along with Scott Whitlock. Grounder back to McCubbin. The throw to Hiller, first out of the inning. So far, so good for McCubbin. Two to one strikeout to walk ratio. There's a grounder to Hannah Slyke, who took the first pitch. Grounds out to Alex Brown at third, and there's two down. Swing and a miss, and it's a strikeout. An enthusiastic response from Brooke McC are Correct. We trust your sources. 0-2 pitch to Brown, and she goes down swinging. First strikeout of the day, for, and that's where she's been ever since. Yeah, she battled through the season. That's straight up the middle, and the Tigers have their first hit of the day. And she hit it like a laser right by the pitcher, Papillon. California. Synonymous as the runner goes as Moore head first slide, and Maddie's in there with a stolen base. Moore with stolen base number. Ball and two strikes, and Moore swing and a miss, second out of the inning. And another off speed pitch. And she'll walk on five pitches. Yep, they were pitching around her all the way. Let's see if she drops it down to about 52 or 50. And that's going to be a hit by a pitch, and suddenly the bases are loaded. And that was a changeup. 50 come in. 333 or average. And that's going to be into left field, but it goes into the glove. A La Violette and Papillon gets out of the inning. The and she walks her. The Cub and staring back at it, but that's the first walk and it's the first base runner for BC. On the weekend, squares up to Bunt, lays it down, but it's going to be a foul ball. Boston College upbeat today. They got her. Now trying to advance a runner. Lays it down. McCubbin, the quick throw to first. Moore makes the catch for the out, but the job done by Siegel as she advances the runner. You know, Fly ball. Mackenzie Clark comes in, catches it right there on the Tiger Paul logo, second out of the inning. That was a nice catch. Fly ball. Coming in for it is Ariel Oda. Oda brings it in, and that's it for BC in the second. Eagles lever. Walks and a hit. Of course, I think that the. Grounder right to Robinson, the shortstop, a high throw, but they're able to get her in time as Siegel pulls it down. Yeah, that was a little bit. The 1 0 pitch. Fly ball. Calling for it is Callie Case in center. And there's the second out of the inning. And she, Case made a sensational catch last night in a very crucial part of the game. Knocked in a run so far this weekend. She lays down the bunt. Papillon has it, and her throw goes into right field. So the Tigers get a runner aboard with two down. Out swinging to lead things off in the bottom of the first. I hope she's swinging away here because she has the ability to drive the ball in the gap. There's a ground that's going to get by first baseman Siegel. Rounding at third and heading for home is Oda. Sliding head first into third is Alex Brown, and the Tigers are on the board. Well, she didn't drive it in the gap, but she, this is something that Alex Brown does well. She, she had a that's that ball straight down the left field line. And by the time the right fielder Shields got over there, she'd already rounded second. 2-1, popped it up. Calling for it is the first baseman, Siegel, who comes in and makes the play. And that's it for the Tigers. But Clemson gets a run on a ring. Top of the third, leading things off. This is Jules Shields, and she gets the first hit of the game for Boston College, their second base runner, as she leads things off here in the third. Jump right on it. I believe that they've, they've scheduled a tilt for tonight. As you see the 2-2 pitch, center fielder, Mackenzie Clark under that fly ball, first out of the inning. I think that they... they Love the shin guards, mm. right where the shin guard ain't. 
Grounder, Lungaleo for one. They try to turn two, but not in time, but that's the second out of the inning. Wonderful job of getting the lead runner that Schleich's can has got every accolade you could have. And they're able to steal the base right there. So you can see Jackson with the steal for B. And oh. they're actually going to call her out. They call it, she left early. Yep. See foot and where the ball is at the same time. Great job by the Clemson right video there. crew. Right there, you see she's off the bag, and right there you see McCubbin still has the ball. Lays down the bunt. Right in front of Pappy on the pitcher, has no play to make, and the Tigers have the leadoff runner aboard. And you're going to see a complaint right now about, and now she's in the ACC attempting to rebuild a program at Boston College. Still holds seven records as a pitcher at Presbyte at uh, Providence as Cagle gets hit by the pitch. Yeah. Drive up the road. 2 2 pitch. That is going to be laced in for a base hit. They send the runner. Clark scores. Everybody is safe, and the Tigers have their second run. And it's an RBI for Lungaleo. You'll see right here, Lungaleo stays with it. It's the hard single to left. We knew Clark would score. Cagle actually stopped at second base for a minute, but when the throw was up and was going all the way to the plate, they... Pitch from Papillon, fly ball. Gator Robinson brings it in. First out of the inning. That is such a big out. On my own. Yeah, yeah well. And there's a great change up for strike three. Beautiful, yeah, great pitch. And now Papillon has a chance, told me, as we see the ball lifted high in the left field. Pops it up. LaViolette brings it in. But everybody's told me what a great teammate Hiller is. We might get 1-0 pitch, and that's going to be another base hit. And once again, Boston College has a leadoff runner aboard. That ball was not hit particularly hard, but Cubs did a good 0-2 pitch. Grounded up the middle off the glove of Matty Moore, and it goes in to center field. You certainly don't want to do that. That's the way it was explained to us. Big cut and a big strikeout for Robinson as she goes down. Yeah, and that was a little bit of an off-speed pitch there. Big cut there and a second strikeout. That's wow. a big, big strikeout right there. Center fielder earlier. And that's going to be a rocket, but it goes right into the glove of Valerie Cagle. So Reagan Spencer comes in and shuts down BC. We go to the bottom of the fourth. You just can't get her out of the lineup. She does too many things good. She plays hard nose. She beats out bunts. She lays down perfect bunts. Yeah. That thing almost just came to a dead stop. Yeah. That was absolutely gorgeous. That. And not let things like bunts get inside your kitchen. Brown will lift that one up, and it's just going to fall in between three BC fielders. And that looked like trouble from the start. Yes, it did. I... Two one pitch from Papillon, and she drives that up the middle. They will send the runner. Oda will come around. She's across for the run. Three nothing. Tigers RBI. Maddie Moore. Nothing fancy, nothing flashy, but oh so effective. Oda did a good job by not getting hit by the ball. And a quick pitching change being done here. So I believed you. She pops that one up. Calling for it is Case in center field, and she dropped it. And now they got yeah. everybody safe for no, more. No. More's yeah, more going to be We're up there for a reason. And she's going to have that one drop in for a hit. One run across. Brown scores. Kegel the RBI single, and the Tigers lead four nothing. She'll be very pleased about getting that RBI single. Because she had been quiet this weekend. Now, Longalea, who homered on Thursday night, is going to come up. That is the second RBI of the weekend for Longalea, and she had an RBI double the last time up. 
Lays down the bunt. The run is there and across. The squeeze works and Clemson leads 5-0. There's the bunt down. Weren't going to catch Clark. She was flying in. Amazing weekend at the plate. 0-2 pitch. And that's going to go up the middle. That'll get you going. One runs across. Two across. It's a two-run single for Garcia. And the Tigers have broken it open at 7-0. Yes, they have. And now you're going to see a pitch. And you're going to see a pitch hitter come to the plate. For yeah, it looks Abby like Kylie Vieira. Johnson's going to come up. Yes. Johnson, a young freshman who actually stepped out here in the Clemson fourth. Johnson lifts that one, but just into the glove of Gator Robinson, second out of the inning. She was celebrating big time on Thursday when she picked up her first career home run as Baumhart goes sliding in, and she is safe. Baumhart in with the stolen base. And Baumhart has definitely embraced hers. And that's going to be into the glove of Robinson to throw over. And that's it for Clemson here in the fourth. But the Tigers score five. Yeah. But I just. Days. She's going to lift that one, but it's going to go into Lungaleo in the first out of the inning. Grounder, Lungaleo backs up, makes the big throw across, but the runner is safe. Don't know if they'd have got a Phoenix is a thousand degrees all the time. One's in the dirt. Got away from Vieira. Yep. It's going to go as a wild pitch. Wild pitch will let the runner at Arizona. And I've also spent a lot of time up in the uh, in the mountain area. Now you see ball four. The mountain areas of. Uh, Right now. Emma Jackson reached on a hit into a fielder's choice the last time up, and she goes down swinging that time. The bottom half of the inning, along with the email address and phone numbers, popped her up. Calling for it is Clark. Couple base runners, but none across for Boston College in the fifth. We go to the bottom of the inning. It's 7 0 Clemson. Okay, you Does he have to the row? Boat. Does he have to row? I don't think so. Rips off the glove of the first baseman, and the Tigers get the leadoff one again. And wow, what a day for Oda. 3-2 pitch. Fly ball. Deep right field back. It is at the warning track, and Shields pulls it in. That looked for a moment like it might be enough more. Runner going. There's the throw, and it's going to be out. So they get Oda at second, and that's the second out of the inning. Yep. I'm not surprised that they ran her because they were trying to spike in Robinson. So there's two away, the 0-1 pitch, and that's a, another base runner for as Matty Moore gets the hit. You should have saw the reaction by John Ripman down in the third base booth. Uh, no, here we go. Try it again. Bombs away. Got her again. <laughs> there we go. Back to back, Hannah Slyke strikes to take out Clemson and Moore's runners. Hurt her. Right off the shoe of Gator Robinson. And Moore just popped up and was holding that fan, was back out. And they do call Maddie Moore safe. Either Scott or Coward. <laughs> okay. And she walks. So Clark is aboard, and here comes Valerie Kegel. It doesn't get any easier, does it? No. Chase out of the zone with two strikes. Powers out one. It's going to be gone. How's that to wrap it up? Valerie Kegel, a three-run shot. And for the second time in three games, the Tigers run rule BC and take two out of three on the weekend. Wow. I said she'd chase it outside, and she chased it right out of the park. She absolutely did. Man, gave that thing a ride. Kegel with the home run, and the Tigers win it 10 nothing. And that was a, uh, I know that.
Coach Rittman is going to feel very good about this, given the fact that last night was so difficult. We will, in the coming days, want to keep an eye on Matty Moore, because that's a huge thing for the Tigers going forward. If you're Boston College, though, you've got to feel good about yourself, because you came down here, you took a game, but more importantly, you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with, with Clemson.